So now let's see how do we add element at the start. So we have seen how to insert the element at the end. Now we'll see how to add, add the element at the start. So what we're going to do here is let's create another method and we'll name this method as public uh, void insert and then we'll say insert at start. Okay, so we just have to pass a value there. So I would say the value would be int data. That's the value we are, we are going to pass. Now let's try to add the value. Now how do we add the value? So if you think about this uh, same thing which we have drawn before, let me just take, it, take you there. Now if you remember this image, now I want to add an element at the start. So I would say a new element and this element will go at the start. So let's say the element is maybe 25. So I want to add 25 and this will go at the start now. Now when you say start, it simply means that you just need to change your head location from the current lo current object to a new object. So this is the uh, new head location and the value or the address for this one would be the earlier uh, first element which is 18. So the ID is 22. So I want this 22 to be here so that it will refer to this element now. So now the new element is at the start. So it, the head will become the new element and it will have the address of the previous first element. So let's see how do we implement that. So same steps we have to get a node so I can, you know, uh, I can simply copy paste the code now. Uh, what I can do is I can say, okay, the same thing will remain, this, this thing will remain same. So we'll copy and paste it here. Again, we cannot say copy paste, I can say code reuse. So I would say paste here. And once I got the value, the only thing we have to do now is the node. So we have to say head node is equal to node, the current node. Okay, so when you say, uh, when you say you have to say head equal to node, so the, the current node will become the head. But even before doing that, I just need to verify, I just need to mention that the next node for this, so this, so the current node, next node should be the first node and it is then the head, right? So head is the first node initially. So I would say before assigning the node to head, you will say node dot next. I want to say head. So whatever value was having with the head will be the next for this one. So let's say this node is maybe, uh, let's name this N6. So this node will have an address of this node. Initially this node was head. So we can simply say node.next is equal to head. Is that simple? Let's verify if it is working. Just to verify that what I'm going to do is, let's go back to runner. After printing, after adding 12, let's say insert at start. I will say insert at start. And the element I want to insert is 25. So now 25 becomes the first element. Let's run this code and you can see we got 25 at the start. So th this is simple. Now we can add the element at start itself. At start, what we are doing is we are getting a node and just saying that the node next element would be the, the previous head node and now head will be changed to the node. So head will be pointing to the first node, the node which you have created just now. That is how you insert at start. The next method we are going to do is insert at any location. So I would say insert at and then we have to specify two things. The first thing you have to mention is the index value and then you'll specify the actual data. Now when you specify index value, uh, maybe I want to insert a data here. So I would say list dot insert and I would say insert at, at position two. Now index number normally starts with zero and we'll say data is let's say 55. So I want to add 55 at location two. So when I say location two, it is zero, it is zero location. So this is my zeroth object now, and this is the first, this is the second one, and this is third one. So when I say I want to insert this 55 at, okay, I want to add 55 object at index two, which means here. So we got a new object and this will be 55, and this will have some address. So this object, the second first object will refer to the new object, and the new object will refer to the, this one. So now this becomes three, and this becomes four. In fact, we don't have to number that, but then this is how you push. You have to push this one to the next location. So what you will do is you will just mention this node will change to this address and uh, the new node which you have created will be, will refer to the next object. Okay. Now how do we do that? And we are, why are we getting, why are we getting error there? So I will go back to my link list. I guess I've not saved it. Now, how do you mention that? So to achieve that, what we will do is we'll say node node equal to new node again the same steps in fact we could have copied it so it's a paste yeah so this thing is for sure it there with every insert now in this case we have to traverse right because we have specified the index value we have to traverse from that location to the to the to the index value and to travel we have to again start with the node the head node so i will say n equal to head so remember whenever you want to traverse you have to always say n node i mean node n equal to head 
Now, how do we traverse? Now, since we know the index value, so whenever you know the value, it's always better to start with a loop. So with that trace, what we have to go to this point. So if your index value is two, you have to reach till one. So if index value is two, you have to reach till one because in one, you have to make the changes, right? So if I say index value two, you have to make the changes here. I guess the, this thing is not properly visible. Let me just rewrite again as I'm very bad with writing and writing. So let me just, let me just do that once again. So I got the first object here. So we got the first object which is 18 and which is referring to the next object which is 45 which is referring to the next object let's say this is uh, 12 and uh, oh we, before that we got 25 right because 25 is the first element now so 25 referring to 18 18 referring to 45 45 referring to this one now when i say you want to count when i say index value 2 it means this is 0 i have to start with 0 this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 now when you say 2 that means you have to get a new node here somewhere here and let's say the value is 55 so you have to reach till this node first in this node you have to change the location from here to from this arrow to this arrow and from here you have to refer this one so first you have to reach till this point now since the index, index value is 2 you have to reach till 1 how do we reach till 1 is by saying let me just go back there so we'll use a for loop and in here i would say int i equal to 0 and i would say i less than equal to index minus one and I will say I plus plus in fact not minus one will say index now every time you traverse you have to say n equal to n dot next that's how you traverse right okay now there's one change when you say next that means we have to say minus one because we have to reach here this node by referring next so because next itself is going for the next node so you have to say minus one you have to co come one back once you reach till this point you just have to you just need to change the address right you have to change the address of this node with the new node but even before doing that i will change the address of this node to the this node so this node the new node which i have created that is node so this in this current situation this is node and this is n i want to have the value of node next to the this value now to achieve that what we will do here is we'll say node dot next is equal to n dot next so n is this one so whatever value so whatever value is there here will go into this node right because this value is nothing but the pointer or the reference to the next node okay we have done that now we have to update this value so this this node so the 18th node now will have the address of this node and to do that we simply say n dot next is equal to node and by doing this our job is done let's verify so i would say insert at 2 let me just run this code and you can see we got 55 at 2 so 25, 18, and 55, it's that simple. Awesome, right? So this is how you add the element in between. But there's only one twist. What if I add at zero location? Because for zero location, it is a bit different, right? So if I run this code now, uh, you can see it is adding at the first location. So it is not working. So for zero, we have to put a special condition here. So we will check if the index value is equal, equal to zero, what we will do is we'll simply call because see when you say zero it means you want to you want to add at start right so you simply call that method start by passing this data so in case if the index value is zero that means your intention is to start from the first location so you have to say insert at insert at start so this is how you add the element at any location which you want so i hope you got the idea how to add at start and how to add at any location in the next video we'll see how do we delete the element so let me know in the, your, your thoughts in the comment section. If you find it difficult to understand, I will try to make another video understanding, making understanding this one. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, like, click on the like button and do subscribe for, for the videos, everyone.